quad overgrowth with mecha valk spam is broken this attack strategy is so easy to do and you are never going to fail with it Here is the army we're coming in with today, Mechas, Valks, and Druids with Quad Overgrowth. Here is the hero equipment as well. In the past, we've done this army with five overgrowth because we are not bringing the Eternal Tome, but the Mechas are so quick that you do not need the fifth overgrowth at all. So we're bringing a couple of extra freeze spells, six Valks in the CC. Let's give this a go in Legends League. What better place to start testing this army than against a pretty common ring base? You see, oh, it's more of an anti-2. So what are we going to do? We, we just want to get some really good value for our heroes, but also funnel in the troops. So where are we going to get good value? I think we're going to get good value down the bottom here. So let's... No, 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 no. I desperately need the, the king to come back in. Beautiful. Start the siege barracks up there. Oh, I nearly let it be targeted. And I'm going to put my royal champion down early here because I'm trying to funnel my troops uh, inside, uh, inside the base. And it's not really possible to do that with all of this on the outside. This is actually a bit of a problem here. This is a bit of a problem. This is about the only real weakness with this troop. All right, so we have taken a bit of time, but that's okay. And you're going to see, you might think it's bad me uh, kind of uh, giving up my royal champion so early, but trust me, it's not a problem at all. So we're going to overgrowth all that. You don't really need your royal champion for this attack strategy as much as you might think. But hopefully I can still keep her alive. I mean, that's the hope. Oh, come on, druids, 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 keep her alive, keep her alive, druids! There comes the defensive CC. And we're going to use another overgrowth whilst we deal with the CC. And you can see why you only need four overgrowths with this attack strategy, because the mechas go through the base so quickly. We'll freeze that. I'm still sitting on the Warden ability for some reason. Now we've just got to isolate different parts of the base. So I'm going to put the Overgrowth on the top side. And that should make the um, two multis you see over here visible first. And then we'll make the multis visible. Uh, the other stuff visible, sorry. I mean, look at this. So wrecked. Somehow my RC went down, which is disappointing. And now we put the overgrowth as far down as possible to just clip the town hall. And now all our, the troops should go target everything else. Look at that. Perfect. And what a great start for this attack strategy. It, you can see it's not quick, but that's because we keep overgrowthing the town hall. There are a few times I have used this army uh, a little bit in FCs to practice for this. There are a few times that you can wreck the base with only using one or two of the overgrowth spells. But I think swagging the warden ability, even if it's just the heal tome, is a pretty good start to this video and a good showcase of how important the funnel is. It's worth giving up your RC to set a good funnel because you don't need her to get the three star. Coming in on a box base now, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with the heroes because the weakness of the box base, particularly versus these uh, Root Rider-esque attack strategies, is if you can sui the Town Hall. So I'm going to try and sui the Town Hall here. Because if I'm able to do that, then I don't think there's a lot this base will uh, be able to do to stop this working. And yep, we are definitely going to get that town all sueyed. I mean, look at it. It's ridiculous. The King Gauntlet's OP. He should be able to get rid of the town hall. My Queen's shooting skeletons, which is beautiful. My uh, Peckers did go the wrong way, but that's alright. We'll uh, spam from the top. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> One Tesla pulling all the mechas inside. Let's see what happens. Alright, let's start using them overgrowths. I'm 
In fact, let's use a second one. We just want to completely negate the damage being done. That hound's been a problem. Because my headhunter can't go in and kill the, uh... Isn't killing the defensive RC. We'll use that poison there. My fox is... Okay, fox, you do what you want. It's your, uh... It's your world. I didn't even deploy the Apprentice Warden. I'm throwing. Let's completely isolate you. Time to heal up all our troops. That's the crazy thing. I hadn't healed my troops with the Warden ability yet. I don't really know what I'm doing with this attack strategy. You guys can tell that. In fact, most of the comments in the last video we did with the five overgrowth were saying, I have no clue what I'm doing. And you're correct. You were definitely correct. I did not know what I was doing. But that doesn't matter. It definitely doesn't matter. I don't know how you can fail. I'm still yet to fail with this. I hit ni all nine of my bases for friendly challenge with this army. Didn't fail one of them. Obviously, Town Hall 16 is easier than not, but I expected to fail at least one of these attacks. That gold storage finally goes down. There must be a building elsewhere. Nope. It's just the eagle and the builder hut next to it. I'm about to pop my royal champion because, yep, the overgrowth has ended. Look at how many mechas are still up. Why wouldn't you use this army? Is it not better than uh, just regular Root Rider spam? A lot of you ask, how do you take down these double invis bases with Root Riders? Now, I'm not sure I'm the perfect person to ask, honestly. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but we'll give it a go. We will give this a go and see if I can make it work. So the queen's going to walk in. I'm going to freeze you. Hopefully the queen goes in here. Those skeletons are doing a great job. I'd love for the king to come back. Or just none of them will go in. How have I done this? That is special. So somehow I'm going to get negative value with this Sui. So I'm going to use the royal champion as well. How did I manage that? That is genuinely impressive. That is genuinely impressive to mess all that up. I thought I placed a headhunter ages ago. Evidently not. Alright, here we go. We're going to overgrowth that. We'll overgrowth that too. Where is my royal champion? Oh, there she is. And obviously, we do not want to go through the town hall, so we'll overgrowth that. We're just overgrowthing everything on the base now, apparently. Not the best way to do this, but will it work? Probably. Probably. I have so much faith in this army. Probably a little too much. Oh, my word. Where is my warden going? All these poor troops! My queen died there. I definitely shouldn't have let her die. Can that invis tower please go off? Yep. I've still got a warden ability. So let's start healing some of these troops. I mean, if this isn't a sign for you to start using this army, I don't know what will be. I have no idea what I'm doing versus these double invis bases. They definitely confuse me. So you can all meme me down in the comments below. I'm not perfect at every attack strategy. I'm not a spammer, guys. This, is, this isn't what I'm good at in this game. I mean, I, I'm arguably not that good at many things. But this definitely is one thing I'm not that good at. But we still should get the three star here. Right? Imagine if we don't. Maybe we don't. I feel like we've got too much up, but maybe we don't. Go, Valks, go. we still got all the druid boars, and yeah. Look at that. Look at that. A three-star with zero skill. The Sui got nothing. I wasted the royal champion, and still the mechas pull through. Last attack of my Legends League day where perfect 7 from 7 and what better way to finish than a double Rage Tower base. Yet again, we're looking for value with the Sui. 
Uh, but we're also looking up to set set good pathing. For instance, I could Sui into the Royal Champion here, but entering with the mechas over here is annoying with all the defenses on the outside of the base. So instead what I'm going to do, so let's start the King here. Is that Valk going to go in between? Beautiful. And then I'm going to send the mechas in here because there's nowhere else for the mechas to go, right? They, they have to go inside the base there. There's no defenses on the outside. Well, there's one now, and that is the uh, arch tower you see down the bottom here. Hopefully my king does not clear out too much of a funnel. Go, mecha! Oh, the mechas are not very uh, high DPS, are they? Hurry up! Not too slow. Alright, I guess the queen's coming with us. Oh, I should have seen them going. I did literally open that wall break up. Alright, we're probably going to use an early Warden ability here if I can. I'm going to use those Druids quite early because we are taking a lot of damage. I just need my Warden to keep up. Alright, we get the Warden ability there. Not really sure what I'm going to do with the Royal Champion. No, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Mecha, you beat that wolf for nothing. Actually, I'm going to reinforce you there. This is not the best looking hit ever. I just need to use the last overgrowth on the town hall again. But I just, I don't see how this can be stopped. There's still so many Mechas left. I got a bunch of freeze spells. I'm going to put the last overgrowth down on all of that. I'm going to freeze this because it will be raged up. And look, that's another three star. Come on, guys. You know I'm terrible at this. We all know I'm terrible at this. This is not my strength. Spamming stuff and using the overgrowth spell. Most of you are better at this than me. Which now gives us a unique perspective of saying, why aren't you using this army? You guys can do this just as well, if not better than me. Just try this army. I guarantee you, you will have good results with it. I am yet to fail, not just in Legends League, but friendly challenges, wars, you name it. This army is ridiculous. The army link will be down below. If you want to see any other armies, do let us know. But that's it for today's video, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.